Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcan Report. This is a post FOMC report. Just wanted to show you what the markets were doing uh, in regards to the news. As you've already heard, uh, the Fed has decided to leave rates alone, leaving everything unchanged and not raising rates. This go around, as a matter of fact, they left verbiage in there that you know, they changed it. The verbiage now reads that uh, they pretty much don't see any global risks uh, concerning our markets. As a matter of fact, they say that our economy and markets are strengthening and everything is good. Basically, in a nutshell, it's all good. So the Fed has decided to provide verbal stimulus to the market this time. So they talked the market up. That's one of the Fed's most powerful weapons of ammunition is talking the market, cheerleading the market. They don't have to push a button. They don't have to write a check. They don't have to do any of that. They just talk. Most of the time, believe it or not, talking is enough to get people to do things on behalf of the Fed. Other times the Fed has to come in and they have to do a little bit of manipulation and massaging. So what happened? Well, uh, as a result of this, the Dow has turned positive and the NASDAQ, of course, is still weak down about 60 points. But I want to point out a few things real quick. All right, this is gold. Gold is nice and strengthening upward momentum. Uh, let's take a look here at what happened on an intraday basis. There's one little thing I want to show you here. I think you're going to find this interesting. This is what happened when the announcement came out. Ta-da! We call this what? A classic stop run. This long parabolic wick that just comes down and just knocks all the weak longs out of their trade. Every single last one of them gone, knocked out done you're out of there all right so anyone who was long coming into now has been stopped out unless you knew better most people had their stops all up in this area right here and they're gone they're knocked out of the trade they have to stand aside now and wait to be re-triggered in the trade uh, above 1252.90 1252.90 will get them back in um, but other than that, that's it. They're they're gone. They're toast. Let's look what happened. Now, the crude inventories came out today. <laughs> it was hilarious. All right, the buildup was much larger than they expected. So they said, and I quote, "This is bearish for crude oil." I knew better than that. So coming into today, I said, "Watch the market go up," and it it did go up. If you take a look at what I posted on the blog, and if you watched yesterday's video, you know I told you that I see the outlook for oil and the metals is strengthening. However, the outlook for the dollar is weakness along with the stock market. Well, overall today the stock market is weak and so is the dollar. What's strong? Oil and the metals. Look, bottom line folks, if you're not following the pulse waves, you're not making money in these markets. There's no way for you to be able to gauge all of the noise and nuances that are going out there right now. If you follow the mainstream media, you're going to be misled. If you try to sit here and day trade these markets, you're going to be misled. You can't go by it. You, you can't do it. Even today, Bloomberg even reported this that the dark pools were operating heavily in Apple after the earnings. Even uh, as early as this morning, they were still operating in Apple. Dark pools, for those of you who don't know, is basically legalized cheating. All right, Very large institutions get to hide their orders and mask themselves so you don't know the identity, you don't know who and what's operating and they can do things to lie in the market put in fake bid and asks and things of that nature use robots and machines to send orders in lightning speed traveling at light speed in some cases literally putting orders in literally at light speed crazy nonsense stuff so that's why you can't really day trade 
it's, it's impossible. You're, you're trading against the machines and the algorithms. And the reason why you cannot beat the machines is because you can't execute at light speed. They can. See, you're beholden to your internet connection, your ISP provider. They are their ISP provider. They have their own dedicated lines, physical lines that go directly into the exchange. All right, and they have their own servers at the exchange. Okay, we're talking fiber. They have fiber lines from their computer to their to their servers at the exchange, dedicated to them. They're the only traffic on there. All right, you and I don't have that. So you won't be able to play in their sandbox and consistently uh, beat them. The only way to work it is to ride their coattails. Because the big whale makes a huge splash in the water, the only thing you can do is ride the waves that are produced by the whale. That's all you can do. And then every once in a while, you'll be able to harpoon the whale. But for right now, swing trading's where it's at, folks. And a lot of the noise and things that signals that the markets are giving are giving off, you will not be able to read them with traditional indicators, technical analysis, and things of that nature, because the way the orders come in, the way the the market data comes in, it fools the traditional technical indicators to give massive false signals throughout the day, time and time again. That's all you're going to get. You can't trade off of it. It's just it's just how it is. So try to do it at your own risk and see what happens those days are done all right when I started my career on Wall Street you could day trade all day long the rules were different the market dynamics and makeup of it was different and it was a lot easier to do um, you could sit there and trade one futures contract and average fifteen hundred dollars a day profit easy hands down sometimes you would trade like five minutes and be done that's right. You come in five minutes, you're done. Push back from your computer, go play golf. It's not like that anymore. So anyway, this here, as you can see, crude oil spiking up. It's still powerful. It's still strong. Taking a look at this dollar. A lot of people have been saying, you know, the dollar's dying. Um, they're trying to get rid of the dollar, blah, blah, blah. And all that is true. Every single last one of it, it's true. But look at this. What do you call this? <laughs> this is classic. This is the Fed. This is what happens when the Fed is involved. All right. Federal Reserve. I, I warned everyone, uh, you know, in the past couple of videos, I warned you when I showed you that um, the Fed has been intervening to prop up the economy by way of the markets. They come in, they're protecting the dollar and they're protecting the bonds from actual absolute implosion. <clears throat> so I'm going to teach you something here new today. This is what I like to call a Fedwick. All right, Fedwick. So say hello to Fedwick. These are rare. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are rare. These are like dinosaurs in the market. They used to, uh, they existed, you know, millions of seconds ago. <laughs> Um, back in the um, in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, when the Fed would come out and change rates in between meetings with no announcement and shock the market, these are the bars that were left behind in the dust. These super hyper parabolic bars that the Fed can only do kills everyone in the market. If you're long or you're short, you're dead. You're stopped out. If you were short, thinking you're doing something, oh, I'm riding this, I'm riding this, stopped out. If you if you were long, trying to hold a position, came down, gave the go, stopped out. It stops you out on both sides. There's nothing you can do in that situation. If you're long, you lose. If you're short, you lose. You cannot trade. It's untradeable. This, these bars used to be a nightmare because you would see these bars in the Nasdaq and the Russell and the Dow and the S&P you know those monster markets back then when they had daily ranges of 600 points alright just monstrous movements 
And a bar like this will happen in seconds and just wipe you out. Just utterly, completely rip your face off. Completely off. Face off. Well, today someone's face got pulled off in this dollar. And I just wanted to show that to you. That's what happens when the Fed is operating in a market. Instead of having efficient markets, you have the Fed. You have a Fed market. Here's what they did in the bonds. See the same operation. See they had they had to knock out trades in the dollar just to, just to level that off. And then here's the bonds. They, uh, the the Fed is really the the only elephant in the room in, with these bonds. All right, the Fed. This is all Fed buying here, propping this up. They ain't gonna let that fall. And in doing so, here is your inverse <laughs> bond getting, getting decimated. It was doing fine. It was doing fine because it was able to pick up a little bit in what was happening in, 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 the, in, in the TLT. And now here, here's the TBT getting smoked because of what the Fed does with their operations. And, of course, minutes going into the announcements, um, it gets leaked. And those in the dark pools can come in and take advantage of stuff and do what they need to do and push markets around ahead of the, the news. Here's your Apple. Poor, poor Apple. Look at that. Just devastating what they're doing to Apple. What did I tell you Apple was going to do the other day? Remember when I did the video and I gave you the readings? I told you what was going to happen. I told you where the support was coming into Apple and I told you where it was gonna go well let me refresh your memory here it is here's the support it's been violated markets headed down way down this is only the beginning for this stock unfortunately if you were long you should have been out of this stock this was your last chance right here to get out of this stock if you did not, shame on you. You're gonna, you, you're starting to feel it now. All right. Uh, one last thing I want to show you. Let's see. We saw gold. We saw the dollar. I showed you bonds. I just showed you Apple. There was another thing I was gonna show you, but it'll lose me at the moment. I have to come back to it in another video. All right. So just wanted to tell you, show, show you guys what's been going on. Uh, basically, the Fed has provided stimulus to the market by way of speech fed fed speak all right so fed speak provides verbal stimulus to the markets all right i'll be back at the end of the day to do a recap and see what's going on in some of the other equities and some of the other commodity futures contracts etc remember in the meantime take what you can give nothing back and bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered especially if you're not following the pulse waves if you're not checking out uh, the website where I post the, the pulse wave triggers uh, if in, in other commentaries and things of that nature if you're not following that then you might as well just shoot yourself and and, and, and stop trading because you're not going to know what's going on all right peace